Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video. It took a little break. Uh, took the most of the uh, month of July off. Just uh, spent some time with my wife. Spent some time taking it easy, actually. Uh, I've been pretty busy. Been rebuilding my deck outside, but I don't know if you can see it or not out there. It's currently raining outside, so it's not exactly the ideal time to be working on the deck at the moment. But anyways, more on that later. What I wanted to show you guys here is our favorite excursion, this 2002 with about 380,000 miles on it, had a problem with trailer lighting. We had the left side stop and turn signal inoperative. The lamp was inoperative. The parking lights worked. All the bulbs were good. Trailer wiring is fine. That all checked out fine. But we weren't getting power from the truck to the left hand stop and turn signal lamp circuit on the trailer. And I'll show you guys what I did to find out what happened here, what went wrong, and what I'm going to do to fix it. Maybe it'll help you out. So it starts with under the hood. Now the thing to remember here is this is a 2002 model. The 2001 and older model excursion trucks had the fuse block right here on the driver's side under the hood next to the firewall. Now on the 2002 model, they moved all the fuses inside the cab. So if you open the door of the truck here, all your fuses are actually behind this little uh, kick panel here by the driver's knees. All the fuses have been moved under here on the 2002 model. That's one of the first things to keep in mind because obviously the first thing I did was went and looked for fuses didn't see any fuses there like they like where they are on my 2001. So on this 2002 model, they've been moved inside the cab. So what do we have here, though, that's still important? These are the relays. This is the relay for the trailer turn signal. Trailer turn and brake signals right here. Whenever you hit your hazards or put your turn signals on, there's two relays here. I've got the one out. This is for the left side. It plugs in right here on this connector. And this is for the right side. I swapped the relays, no change, so I knew that the relays were good at that point. And then it started to become a wire chasing issue. And this is where it gets really time consuming because it's hard to tell where the wire problem may be. First thing I did was I ran a test wire from this little trailer connector here. It's that one on the far left. As you can see here, it says left hand stop turn. So I ran a test wire using an alligator clip from that probe all the way up to the front of the truck on the relay circuit. Our little relay plugs in here. I ran it up to this plug on the switch side of the relay and I had no continuity. So at that point I knew there was an open circuit somewhere on the truck. So I started crawling around underneath the truck and following wire harnesses and doing what I could even though I didn't have the Ford schematic with me. It was still fairly easy to follow. I found these two connectors here right next to the transfer case on the four-wheel drive models. This top one here is for your trailer brake lighting. So I unplugged the connector and continued my continuity tests. Now during the continuity test I found I had continuity, or in other words I found I had a good circuit. I found that I had continuity between the relay block and the connector in the middle of the truck. So that tells me the wiring from the relay block to this connector here in the middle of the truck is good. Now we can isolate that part of the truck out and focus on the wiring going back towards the rear of the truck. I took the license plate off to get better access to the wiring in the back of the truck here, but there's actually another connector for the trailer light wire harness that you can unplug. This is the gray connector here that disconnects from the gray connector that you see off here to the left. That's the connector for the trailer wiring harness. So I pulled this harness out of the truck and it was all wrapped in a wiring loom. As you can see, I took it all apart right here. It had wiring loom and lots of duct tape on it. And I didn't really think much of it at the moment because it all looked factory, but I noticed some unusual bulging in the wire loom here and lots of excess tape, as you can see, that I took off of there. So I got to thinking, I wonder if somebody did something to this little wire harness here at one point. And sure enough, as you can see, this red wire right here, this is the trailer left-hand turn and stop circuit. I followed that red wire back here, and what do you know, there's the cause of our problem right there. 
If you look really close, you can see all that green corrosion. That caused the wire to break over time. And if you look inside here, you can see that's full of corrosion as well. And the whole harness is like this. So somebody has done some work to this thing at some point, which has caused this problem because as you can see, that is definitely not factory from Ford. And there's a bunch of other wires here that have been cut. There's just, there's some really goofy stuff going on with this harness. If you look close, it's only a matter of time. All those other wires have started to corrode. You can see the green corrosion in there starting to eat away at the wires. So I didn't even have to test the circuits from the middle of the truck towards the back of the truck because when I pulled this wire harness out, I found the problem. So I don't know if any of you others have trouble with this. I did some research on the forums and found some unanswered questions from people who had the same problem, but that ended up being the issue on that. And it took me a little while to find this because I was chasing circuits trying to figure out where the problem was and all this is wrapped in wire loom and electrical tape. So it's not like you can just shine a flashlight up there and find it. You have to actually start taking wires out. Well, another thing you can do is you can try to pull on the wires to see if they pop out, but with how much electrical tape they had used to tape this all up, there was no way I was just gonna be able to pull that wire out of there. It's also tucked in behind the rear bumper, behind the license plate and up along the frame. It's just not the easiest wire harness to get to to test like that. But fortunately, that small section of wire harness there is where our problem was. So I'm gonna see if I can find a replacement harness, throw it in the truck here, and the trailer lights should work just fine. So I looked around and was able to find some similar harnesses, but wasn't really finding exactly what I was looking for, so I actually went ahead and repaired this one. Redid the wiring, the cuts, a little bit of solder and some, and some heat shrink, and repaired the wires. Everything's good, everything's got good continuity. I had a little bit of extra wire here because the red wire, as you can see there, was cut a little short, so I just had to wrap the excess wire around there. But otherwise, this harness is uh, really protected. Got electrical tape all around it, inside and outside the wiring loom, so it's in good shape. All we gotta do is reinstall it, make sure everything works. So I got the wire harness back in place. Here it is running to the trailer connector plug which has been resecured. The wire runs up behind the trailer hitch under the bumper there, up around here, then it finally plugs in back there. And back underneath the truck, plug everything in here. Plug the relay back in. And now for the test. I'm going to turn the hazards on. And using our test light here, let's see if we have power to the trailer lights. As you can see, there's power to the right turn signal. And power to the left signal. Problem solved. Well, that was this month's video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll make another video before a whole month goes by. But uh, here's the project on my deck. It's uh, coming along slowly but surely. We're using the Trex composite material and uh, the railing is sitting over there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Another pile of it over there somewhere. Uh, but it's coming along. Had to do a lot of repair work to it. But uh, hey, that's what I do anyway for a living, right? Is fix things, so no big deal. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.